Suppose that we have a fountain and that has a circular base with a diameter of 12 feet. If workers lay a tile border around the edge of the fountain, we want to know how many feet long will the border be to the nearest foot. So we have um, four choices here, 14 feet, 36 feet, 38 feet, 59 feet. So let's work this problem out here. And again, I'm going to draw a little picture. You don't have to draw pictures, but for me it always helps. It, it helps uh, me to visualize what's going on. So let's see, we've got our, there's our fountain, you know, if we're looking from above. It has a diameter of 12 feet. That means it has a radius of 6 feet. So again, recall that the diameter is the distance all the way across the circle. And the radius is just the distance from the middle of the circle out to one edge. Okay, so they're going to make a, um, this, this border around, um, around the edge here. So what we need to do is we need to find, you know, this, this length around the circle. So what we're really finding is the circumference. So the circumference formula for a circle, again, good to know, is going to be 2 times pi times the radius. Well, in this case, again, we were given the, um, the diameter, which was 12 feet, but we already just said, well, that means that the radius is going to be 6 feet. So now I'm just going to plug those values in. I'm going to approximate pi by using 3.14. Again, we said that the radius is going to be 6. So now it's just a matter of multiplying. So again, I'm going to use my, my calculator here. So I'm going to take 2 and multiply that by 3.14. And I'm going to multiply that by 6. I'm getting 37.68. Again, we wanted to round that to the nearest foot. Well, 37.68. That's pretty close to 38 feet, so that'll be our solution uh, to this question. Now, I just want to point out one thing, and this is the good thing sometimes about having multiple choice, you know, taking a multiple choice test. If I saw these four answers and I had no idea what to do, if I had no clue what to do on this problem, um, the first thing I would notice is, notice that the solutions, B and C, those are pretty close together, right? You've got 14, then you jump up to 36, then you only jump up to 38, and then you've got 59, which is kind of a ways away. To me, I would be intuitively thinking it's probably one of these two answers, just because they're so close together. And I would even think, you know, I bet if I do this problem, I'm going to get something, you know, in between there, even, even uh, quite possibly. So if you had to guess, that would be a little test-taking strategy I would use. You know, just uh, always try to use the solutions to your advantage as well. But again, you know, it's also good to know how to do it, uh, you know, accurately, like we showed uh, in, this, in this problem.